Hello YouTube, I'm back again with another video. Today we're looking at the 2022 Ford Bronco. I just purchased this uh, two days ago actually. <laughs> and I got a little over a hundred and some miles on it already. And you'll know why here in a minute of the mileage. Well, I was looking on YouTube and did a lot of research about getting mud flaps put on on this Bronco because if you're just going down the road, this thing kicks up stones so bad and it scrapes the side of your doors. And I just recently went down Roper Hollow, which is a boat launch. And it's like a four mile dirt road slash gravel slash mud and this bronco was covered on the sides and the handles the door handles were coated with dirt and mud and, and you would not believe all the rocks that were hitting the bottom of this thing so today i wanted to get some mud flaps put on but I want to try to do it the cheapest way out. You know, you, you can get all kinds of good uh, mud flaps for this. But I'm not spending $500. And they look ugly. You know, and there's only one. Can't remember. Rock, rock something. It wasn't too bad, but it was $300 for just a, a front. And there is no way I'm spending that much money. But they look nice. So, here's what I came up with. Well, let's go back into the workshop here. I purchased the premium fit splash guards from AutoZone. Okay, there's the thing. Yes, they are cheap. Okay, and you got to make sure you get the size C on this and here's the receipt I had to go to Lakewood or yeah Lakewood it says Jamestown there but that is another 30 some miles away to get these because my local AutoZone didn't have them somebody bought two of them today so somebody else must be doing the same thing for the bronco but right there's the amount not too bad i guess 20 20 dollars and 50 cents so let's go ahead and walk out here show you what i did we'll do the passenger side here real quick because i have the light down there all right I did not want to drill holes into the body if I can help it. So I drilled three small one eighth inch holes. And I used the uh, bolts that came with the uh, mud flaps, three a piece. And this is how I did it. Okay. Oh, let me get you down there right there there is a phillips screw thing in between those two phillips screws stick it out what i mean by another phillips screw is these things right here with the plastic i couldn't get them out they just keep twisting and twisting and twisting and i use a flathead screwdriver and everything to try to get them out but it just doesn't want to come out Boy, is that dirty up in there. So, so that's what I did. I'm going to come back down here. Oh, there we are. I leveled it up, drilled two small eighth inch holes through this, the inner tire well. And I'm going to get some comments about that that won't hold, but. For right now, until they come out with something that's easy to clip on or whatever, I'm going to do it. 
but for now, this is what she looks like. And then, oh shoot, you can't, won't, you won't be able to see that. Oh yeah, there you go. There, I screwed into the uh, fender flare. Okay, calm down. I know it's thin, but as you can see, right in there, it's very, very large. I'll show you a different one. Right there. See this right here? See that? That's very, very large, and it's hollow on the inside. So I drilled into that, and then, look, nothing on the outside. Even with the screws provided to them with the mud flaps. I didn't want nothing big, bulky, that clips onto here. So I just wanted something to stop this here. Look at that. That's just going... 30 miles and look at how it comes up like that that's without these and it comes over there yeah I watched this this morning but that's what I did and like I said if they don't hold they don't hold but I'm pretty sure they will but they're pretty long screws and they're snug and uh, let's hope they do hold. So, if you come around here, uh, you might not be able to see this one very good, but everything is level. I did the measurements from, from the tip of that bottom and the back all the way up to the top. It's five and a half inches. And then from the bottom here, from the bottom here to here is 11 and a half. All right, so I did all the measurements before I actually finally screwed it in. I used clamps, and there's the other one. You can see how it looks, and right there, same thing, same exact thing. So, that's what we did today. It took about, I don't know, I don't know what time it is. I say about a half hour, 45 minutes. I took my time, trust me, trying to figure out different ways to mount, mount this. And then, yeah, I wanted to get that done today until, until they get something from the factory. That looks good. <laughs> that don't look too bad. You won't even notice it when you when you really come out like that. <laughs> but we go from the back. Let's take a look from the back here. Come to a side. See if I can get it. Yeah, see that don't look too bad. Then we'll sneak over here on this side. Look. It's alright. Like I said, I'm not a fan of mud flaps. But what I saw when I went down that road on this Bronco, it was a living nightmare. This whole handle was covered out to here. And this right here was coated bad so I have a hundred hundred and thirty some miles on it I'm trying to protect that paint and still you're gonna hear rocks coming up underneath look at that look at this this is just from my driveway a little driveway that I have kicking out stones stones all over and there's a stone in the back tire right there 
it's it's crazy how aggressive these tires are and they pick up stones look at all those down there so when you're going down the road you hear those stones just flying off I'm not gonna do it with nothing with the back because I shouldn't have any more stones left if I'm going down the highway going to work so <laughs> So hopefully nobody follows me too close. But yeah, AutoZone. I couldn't believe it. Somebody on YouTube, I cannot think of the user name. But he recommended these. And he did the same thing I did. Which I kind of followed what he did. Bought these. $20.50 in New York. Installed them, used the uh, screws that came with it. And that's it. But alrighty, guys. Well, hope you're liking these videos. And again, there's gonna be more. I'm thinking about putting on some more accessories for the front here. Maybe a small little bar that goes across here. I'm thinking about it yet. Who knows? Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. And I will be talking to you.